Hello YouTube, this is Adam here with Coding Basics, and I would like to welcome everybody to your first tutorial here in Learning Python. Just so you guys can learn a bit about me, since this is my first video for this channel, I am currently a computer science student. Uh, I live in Canada, and um, believe it or not, my first programming course I ever did in university was on Python. So it is. Uh, it's really an introductory language, that's why it's the first one I chose, because it's a really easy language to learn. So people who have no exposure to programming should find this a fairly straightforward language to learn. One thing uh, Python uh, emphasizes is readability. So it's pretty easy to follow what I'm doing, and yeah, it's just a really easy language to understand. So let's get started. In this video, actually I'll make a quick notepad what we're going to do in this video. So, first thing we're going to do is download and install Python, and then we're going to move on to uh, uh, navigating uh, in uh, your terminal slash command line, and then finish just by, I'll, I'll launch Python in the command line. So. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. I assume, I'm assuming for this entire series that you guys know nothing about Python. So it's going to be right from the scratch. I'm not going to be skipping over everything. So we're going to start right from the beginning. So first thing we need to do is install Python. All you got to do is go and Google Python. It's going to be the first thing that pops up is the website. And uh, the second link is where you can download it from. For this tutorial series, we're going to be using the version of Python that I learned in at university, which was Python 2.7. You'll notice that Python 3 has already come out. The two aren't that different. There are some differences. So just to make sure there's no complications, we're going to do Python 2.7. It's still the most widely used one. Um, now I am using Windows, as you can tell by my background on my desktop, but um, I am using Windows. So. Uh, just click on the Windows installer, and it'll download the Microsoft installer package. And from there, it's pretty straightforward installation. I'm not going to do it because I already have Python installed, but really, you download it. You follow through the instructions. There's nothing you have to change. Actually, just, just for the hell of it, I am going to do the installation for you guys. I don't really need it, but anyway. So, uh, yes, run install for all users or install just for you if you have more than one person on the computer it's up to you uh, next and right here is where it's actually going to install python i'm not going to because i don't want to overwrite my files because i know it's working right now i don't want anything to be screwed up on my computer so i'm just going to leave it there uh, if you are on uh, linux you likely already have python installed if you're on Mac, you're going to have to install Python, but it's the same thing. Just download the installer, follow the instructions, a very straightforward installation. Next thing you're going to need is some sort of text editor. There are multiple ones you can use. I have quite a few text editors. Um, Subline is a good one, but the one I prefer and the one I'm going to be using for these tutorials is Notepad++. My opinion, the best text editor for programming. Go to Notepad++, and then you're going to go to Download, and just click on Download. It's going to download the most recent version, which shouldn't take too long to download. It's a pretty small file. Uh, yes, okay, next, I agree, next, next, and right here you don't really go to i wouldn't check off either of those plugins but yep if you want to create a desktop shortcut go for it and it will install i'm not going to because i already have it installed so i'm just going to abort this and you should have it installed and it'll show up on your desktop so here is notepad plus plus it's what i used to type in my what i was going to do in this tutorial so now that everything has been downloaded and installed, we're going to move on to working with your terminal or command line. In Windows, 
you'll be using the command line in Mac, and in Linux you'll be using something called Terminal. So, if you are on Windows 8, you can just open your start menu and start typing in. You can either use uh, command, so the command prompt, by just typing in CMD. But just personal preference, I like using PowerShell. PowerShell. So, there you go. Now, if Python did install right for you, you should be able to type in Python, dash, dash, only two dashes, and then version, and it should spit it at 2.7. That's what you want. Now, I'll show you on my computer, I keep all my Python programs saved in a C drive in a folder I made called source, and then in this folder called Python. These are some of my old assignments from my uh, Python course in university. So, you want to keep it relatively, you don't want to like it to be deep in your documents or anything because you have to navigate through every single folder to get there. So, here are a couple command prompts that are going to be helpful for you. Typing in ls lists all the current files in your directory. So, these are all the file names I have in that directory. And that's just helpful for if you forget what you called something or, yeah, just seeing what other directories are in that folder. When you click chain or cd that's to change directory so for example if i wanted to go into my pictures i type in change directory pictures and now you'll notice right here i'm now in my pictures folder if i want to go up a folder i hit change directory space and then two dots and two periods and when i click enter i'm back up to my personal folder now if I wanted to, okay, so Google Drive, for example, if I type in uh, change directory and then Google Drive, it's not going to work because of that space there. So in this case, I'm going to type in change directory and then quotation marks, put Google Drive, and now I'm in that folder. All right, so as far as it goes navigating to my uh, source folder, I'm going to do change directory dot dot all the way up until I'm back to my C drive uh, change directory to source and then change directory to Python and now when I click ls here's all my Python files now if I wanted to uh, run uh, Python file. I'm not going to run any of these right now, but if I did, I would type in Python, um, the name of it, dot pi. And when I hit enter, it would run the program for me. But instead, what else did I have on here? Oh yeah, launch Python. So that's what we're going to finish this video with, launching Python. So, uh, oh, another thing to mention about the command prompt. Just a personal preference of mine, I don't like having a cluttered uh, command prompt. So if it's starting to fill up with all these error messages and, you know, file directory lists, you can just type in clear, and it'll clear out your window. Now, as far as just launching Python goes, you just type in Python. And it'll just pop up your version, uh, you know, what kind of version it's running on, if it's a 64-bit or 32-bit. Um... And let's just do a simple command. So print. Print is a simple command. I can print out numbers, so just print 9. It's going to print out the number 9. I can also print out what is called strings, which is text. So if I do print and then say hello world, it will print out hello world. So that's one thing you can do. You can also do simple math. So 9 plus 9, for example, 18, and then I can do something, I can use variables, I'll, I'll explain all this in depth later, but um, if I did A equals 9, now if I type in A times 6, 
just going to spit out 54 because the number 9 is stored in a variable called A. Uh, that's about all I want to explain right now. Uh, now that I'm done with Python, whenever you want to exit out of Python, um, for example, if you make changes to the Python file and you want to relaunch it, uh, you just type in quit, open close parentheses, and then enter. And you've exited out of Python. So that's all for this video, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribed. As well as this Python series, I am going to start a Java series. That's another language I learned in university. And eventually I'd like to get into what some web development such as HTML, jQuery, JavaScript, all that stuff. So uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. You know, Subscribe, like, and leave a comment if there's anything you really want to know about Python. Uh, let me know and I'd be happy to show it to you guys. So that's all for today, and I will see you guys in my next video.